Oh yes! Awesome! Solar bank! Hey guys and welcome to episode 11. Now, first, uh, first a few things. Uh, as you guys can see I added two more workbenches. And then also, I added ten more forges. The bottom ones are for steel, the top ones are for forged iron and rebar, and then these are for the stone, or for the cement rather. So I actually have a lot planned today, and hopefully this is, will be an amazing episode. But basically I want to do the defenses today, and also put up a few turrets, and then show you guys what I rigged up outside. As you guys saw in the just before the intro, I found a solar bank, but unfortunately we don't have any cells for it, so we can't use it yet. Also, while I craft the turrets, I'm going to show you guys clips from trader moments. Uh, stuff that I bought, just so I can show you that I bought it from the trader and didn't spawn it in or anything. You know, you guys know I'm very fussy about things like that. Hey guys, so I'm over here looking for some solar panels, which there isn't any. And I'm going to buy this axe, it's almost 600 quality. I'm going to go to the other trader and hopefully that has solar panels. Okay, so again, no solar panel Thank or bank. Sisters. But over here, I'm gonna buy the night vision goggles and auger blade. Great so that should set us up for a while. Just out here digging for some treasure, but lucky on the third tunnel. Let's see what we get. Ooh, nice. It's actually extremely fast to craft these. I thought it would take a few minutes. So, like I said, I have a ton that I plan on doing today, so hopefully, we get to all of it. Let's just put this down here. Also guys, I want to show you guys on the map quickly. Um, as you can see over here, these black dots uh, represent cars. And you'll notice that there are no cars left inside the town. So I took apart all the cars in the town, got a few engines and got a few batteries. Also let's just take some concrete mix over here. Guys, the buzzing you're hearing is from this uh, bank over here. Um, it's actually on at the moment, but it's not using any power because I connected it to a switch. The switch is off, and as soon as I put it on, there's lights in here. So I've put this off. So this is without a mining helmet, and it's quite bright in here. You can actually make it even brighter by turning this on the wall. And then when you turn it off, it stops using power again. These night vision goggles are awesome. <laughs> I've been using it off camera. Okay, let's just quickly plant the farm. I wanted to do this on camera, but I w that was a mistake on my part because um, now we don't have any food, so I have to wait for these to grow. These are normal all of a sudden. I was planting the golden rod, and the block was actually diamond shaped, not a square shaped. So as soon as these grow fully, we'll be able to make quite a few more stews. It actually helps my wellness up. You guys have noticed my wellness went up quite a bit already. Also, I want to show you guys my level. I'm level 101, so now I can actually go and buy weapon smithing 9 and tool smithing 9. Also I have, where is that one, band mechanic full, and I bought one more thing, I can't remember which one. Also as you see my mining is almost 98, and the reason for that being is obviously the amount that I mined over there uh, extra for the steel, and then also, if you look here at the hotel, the green is what I haven't touched yet. All the other destroyed stone are actually already chopped up. And because of that, my mining actually rocketed. Come on. Guys, so off camera, I actually played around with the electric fencing a bit. And I implemented the pressure plates. So it's going to be awesome. I want to show you guys that. And then also, I want to add a few more traps to that to help out. Okay, that's the crops done. Do I have more rebar? I doubt it. Just want to make sure. Because I don't think 220 is going to be enough. Okay, so these, the bottom five actually all have crucibles. It's these ones on top, the middle ones that don't. Damn horde, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I don't have the time to put the traps on now. Damn, they're wrecking my defenses now. I wish it was possible to connect all your defenses to a switch. Come on, come on, come on over here. Damn it, most of them already went over. Can you believe my luck? Ok, 
Okay, so all these died, except this one over here. Nope, she died as well. Okay, also guys, we have to watch out for dogs. Today is dog day. And you guys know that the dogs come with bears. Where's the crawler? There are two crawlers. <laughs> Three crawlers. Also guys, um, I made quite a few more of my iron bolts. Uh, I went, actually went in there looking for vultures and couldn't find any, but I came across quite a few nests. So that helped out a lot. Also, now, to show you guys this. Uh, I took away a few of the relays because there were too many. So the relay up top uh, carries the current down. And then I went and I connected this one to this one, this one to this one. And I kept going all the way around. Even connected all these small ones up. And then that circuit stops yeah, for, with this one. Then it connects to the, uh, the electric fence and goes all the way back. The only uh, parts not protected by the second fence is in the middle of each side. So they all go around in a, like an L shape. Then it comes down, goes around, and then comes back with the fence. I just need to find a way to protect the middle as well. Okay, so let's quickly put a few of these frames down and start upgrading them. I want to put the, sp the defenses on top of that. One guy actually told me this is overkill. But this is actually... Uh, it's not even overkill, it's just everything you require to survive the horde properly. Also to limit the damage to your base. As you guys can see I left the asphalt since it's already hard. I'll let the cops explode and destroy the asphalt for me. Not that I want the cops to explode because then they're going to damage my uh, electricity as well. You guys notice that I put the purple axe that I bought in the chest because I'm going to only use that when I'm cutting down trees. For everything else, I'll use my normal axe. And I actually tested this, guys. Um, I want to see if there's enough time left after this to do the horde. If not, then I'll do the horde next episode and just upload it as soon as possible. Because I tested this fence on myself and the pressure plates work. <laughs> it's actually very painful. But the way in which they work is a little bit weird, so we'll just have to get used to turning on... For example, say you see a horde coming and you don't want to face them. You need to know which generator powers which side. I thought I heard dogs. So far, every time I've encountered dogs, they were silent. The stealthy type. Okay, so after I've placed these 60, I need to go in, make those frames, because that horde distracted me now. Uh, go make the frames and then grab the turrets. Okay, that scared the hell out of me. I forgot that because the forges are on, screamers show up. All I heard were footsteps coming towards me. Damn, that was scary. The screamers are actually spawning more and more zombies. So then you know the game stage is getting difficult now. No, don't whack my stuff. We're actually going to be getting quite a few hordes and zombies today because the forge is on. I don't want to put the forges off because we're going to need all the steel we can get to upgrade the spikes. Also, as soon as we have solar panels, I actually want to put the outer defense, the ones that only work with the, the pressure plates, I want to use the generators for, and then everything else I want to power with the solar power. Unfortunately, I have not been lucky enough to find any of the panels. Even the traders, they both don't have. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Let's just quickly go up. The moment there, I thought it was another ward. It's a random zombie. See, my problem is when they spin like that, they attack whatever's next to them. So they can also attack this post over here. The 240 wasn't even enough for a third of it, so let's just quickly see, uh, leave our frames. 800 is way too many. Okay, let's make 200 in each forge. Even that will be too many, but you can never be too certain. You might just use it later on as well. These forges are running so silent. Okay, so let's just quickly dump everything and then grab the turrets and go outside. 
Okay, so let's just quickly check this out. This one in the corner powers over here. And then this powers which way? That way and back. So this one corners that side. See how weird it actually works out. So that one powers this corner. I wish I had a... No, I do have a hunting rifle. I should actually use that for long range. Okay, while she dies over there, let's quickly start upgrading on this side. Also guys, I'm going to put either small spikes or barbed wire over here. So that they slow down, get damaged, and get slowed down by this. Well, I should actually just put spikes. Because they're already slowing down due to the current. So why do I want to put something else that slows them down? I need something that deals heavy damage. I actually want to try putting in the spinning traps, the blade traps, in this corridor over here. So I don't want to fill it up too much with random stuff. Man, I wish I had a nail gun. I didn't see one when I went looking for solar banks. So I was just unlucky. There were schematics for it, but not the nail gun itself. They just crouch like this. You can at least hear the zombies approach us from the back. I'm actually going to have to use more relays uh, to put these turrets up. They're going to work in a very weird way. Because the generators cover a half side, a half side, I'm going to have to put the turret in the middle, or in the corner. So it has to stretch from the middle, over here. As I told you guys, it, uh, it stops over here. No, it stops. Over here, there's a gap over here. So... I need to attach this to the turret on that corner over there. So I need quite a few more relays. They just stay crouched and hopefully when a dog shows up, I remember to quickly stand up. I'm actually wondering if a gore block acts as a weight on this thing. And I doubt it since his body is there and it makes a noise when I'm standing on it. What I actually want to do is put the barbed wire fence over here. Uh, in between this fence so that it's double slow down for bottom and top. And then over here blade traps and over here spikes or something else like barbed wire on the floor. I'm actually hoping the dogs come later on. Saves me a bit of time. Okay, so there's nine blocks more or less in between each of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, so about 36 on each side. Let's make 160 barbed wire fences. Ooh, I need wood for this. Let's just quickly jump up here and avoid having to run around. I'm also going to, off camera, extend my farm a bit to the one side. See, now these forges are done. I should actually put a few of them on now. That's five more spikes you can do. With this, we should be able to do 70 or so spikes. So, Actually, we, we have enough steel for now. I'm not going to call more screamers towards my base. Okay, so I came down here for wood. And I think that's it. Okay, so let's make those benches on us. Not benches, the traps. Uh, 160, I said. So these will actually run underneath the electric fence and then later on there will be even more defenses. This area, uh, this area is actually very active for some reason. Okay, I should actually, while I have them on me, do this. See, now they get stuck on this and get shocked, but the only problem is, like I said, over here there's a gap. It's not going to work over here. I'm still going to put them there just to slow down the zombies a bit, but they're not going to get that uh, amount of damage they get from the electricity. Hopefully the dogs actually come and get stuck on these. Then at least I'll know they're there. Ah, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make more relays. You know what, for my own safety, let's just do this outer corner first and put the barbed fences. Because then I'll know if a dog is close or not. Sure, you'll be able to hear the pressure plate, but if they come to, uh, towards me or close by me, then hearing the place, uh, pressure plate will actually be too late. 
But if I put barbed fences, they get stuck on them and I have time to escape. I was digging this during the night, so I only now notice all the gravel on the floor. Meaning there's actually ore underneath. Oh shit, Screamer. Did she spawn a dog or not? Uh, not. Well, that's irritating. I didn't even hear a scream. Come on, stop inter interrupting me over here. There's not even any forges going. Now, what did you destroy? What's he destroying over there? Okay, how the hell did that zombie spawn inside? Oh shit, no, 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 no! Damn it! I'm so pissed at the game that I've misjumped it. This is so messed up. There shouldn't be any zombies in here. How the hell did that happen? First off, the screamer didn't scream, and then secondly, the zombie spawns inside. I know this isn't player block, but still, my claim is down and my bedroll is down. And there are walls. Wait, did she just wreck this one this easily? I might have to put other traps in here. Oh damn, that one's off. I'm just lucky I didn't hit the pressure plate now. I should actually have put the forges off beforehand, but I need all the resources I can get before the horde comes. I mean, it's horde day, so I need to finish all these defenses up fast. Also, now that the zombies spawn inside, I just realized I forgot to put the... Stop making noises, dude. I thought it was another zombie. I forgot to put a roof on, so if vultures show up, I'm screwed. Is they're going to get me. Well, then again, I can just stand inside, but still. What if I want to stand outside and face the zombies? Okay, now I have too few. How did that happen? Uh, I need about 20 more. At least they craft quite fast, so there's no worries there. Now this, where should we put this one? I wonder if we should hang it, or if we should actually put it on top. Only problem is it can only be ya, yeah, since the bob uh, the iron bars are actually taking up the whole block. So if I put it up here, they won't be able to do any damage. Okay, that's a little bit upsetting. Um, I might just make a pillar over here. Or two pillars, to, so if one gets destroyed, the turret still stays up. Because remember, uh, I think that generator, no, that generator powers this side. Just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. That generator comes there, goes there, moves back and back. So that generator over there is powering the whole corner. So if a plate over here goes off, it means there's a zombie over here somewhere. Damn, I needed more turrets. For now, I'll just put the turrets in the corners, and then later, as I get more shotgun parts, I'll add more shotguns, or more turrets. Unfortunately, I only had enough parts for four. Also, in the stable build, I'm going to try and build my own standalone base, because there's so many things in the way when you use a prefab. I thought I had another screamer screaming and wailing on something. Oh, 20 perfectly. Okay, so, guys, the problem now is, if I put it over here, if they step over there, it's not going to hit them. So, either put it in the middle. I need more turrets, damn. Uh, let's just eat this. It gives a little bit of hydration. See, if I put it in the corner, at least it uh, actually covers most of the area that it's triggering from. Then again, I hope it actually shoots zombies, because it only activates when someone steps. So if someone steps there, it's pointing that way, it shouldn't shoot unless there's a zombie. It just gives power and then it puts it on, so it can shoot. Okay, so let's just grab a few frames. I think this is high enough, hopefully. If 
five. Okay, so from here, uh, let's just do this. I'm going to do this on all four sides so that the tops can dry and we can put the turret up here. Also, I want to get the rest of these spikes to steel. So while we have the steel and everything on us, let's just quickly do that. A nail gun would have come in so handy right about now. Just hold down and walk. Ooh, hello there. Do not come and destroy my defenses now. Shoot. I think I might need to move the turret over there first, guys. Because we need to get the furthest point first so it actually works in a circuit. So either, because remember, it can, it's going to come from this post over here up. So either put it in the middle. Yeah, I think for now I'm going to put the turrets in the middle. I'm still going to make these pillars. I don't know if I should. I'm going to keep these pillars for now. So then the next two turrets I find, it's going to be from that turret to the new two turrets over here. It has to be a circuit that it follows. Otherwise I'm going to have a headache of a time next time when I have to realign the wires. So that also being said, where's the middle? Uh, over here. Now we can actually quickly put the turrets down. Like so. Uh, but should I put it backwards a bit? Let's just go up one more. See the thing is the turret should actually see everything in its view. So if I put it here, it should be fine. No, it's not. Can we turn it the other way? No. What if we turn it a bit? The view's still obstructed. Hmm, this is actually a very difficult choice to make. So, let's just do this then. Take out this one block on each side and then put the turret down a little bit. Because remember, the zombies are going to get stuck on the first fence and that's when this thing has to shine. Like so, put it down. It barely reaches. I'm going to have to put it down there. I'm just afraid that that's too low and that it actually gets destroyed. I'll just have to defend it properly, guys. Because we need it to be able to sh uh, shoot down. I should have actually made them outside and then firing in. You can't pick this up, can you? Oh, you can. Okay, so... Just to fill up this hole so I remember this is here. Let's do it on the outside rather. I know I'm keep, I keep changing my mind now, but we need to do it properly as to not waste our turret. So let's shoot the zombies in the back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7. This should be far enough. So we're going to have to place like six on each side or five on each side to do heavy damage. And then around this, you do this with ramps so the zombies actually walk over it. Okay, so I'll do the rest of it, like the upgrading everything off camera. For now, let's just quickly place all the turrets and get rid of all this grass. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh one. I need to hydrate myself, otherwise I'm going to die over here. It's crazy how hot you get in this biome. You get super hot. Okay, water, water, water. It's up here. We need cooldown. I wanted to drink the golden rod tea, but that's just going to eat me up again. Okay, let's keep one of these on us and then get back to work. Oh, relays. What do you need again for relays? Forged iron and electrical parts. Do I have forged iron left? No. So I'll have to make a few. That said two. So I need four on each forge. I want to make 16 total. So there's five forges, three. Okay, that's going a lot faster than I thought. So let's just make all of them over here. I need to make 16. While we're here, we can just all grab everything that we need from the forges. I 
also still need to load the shotguns. Did I take all the steel? Yes. So what I need over here is a tool. A clipping tool. Let's drop these. Um, also guys, the wild tool actually breaks when it reaches zero. It doesn't just say zero durability. It actually breaks. It's gone. Okay, so wire tool. Uh, what else did I need? Ammo. We need just this much should do for now. Okay, so electrical parts over here. Only seven. Oh, I made one too little over here. Just one more. Okay, so another relay. Come on. We've actually been running around quite a bit today, but we need to get these done before the horde. Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to continue doing this off camera. Um, wait, let's just connect that quickly. I need to make... Oh, I do have ladders in here, don't I? In here. Yep, why am I running around all the time? I can just come up here. Okay, so let's quickly connect this one. So it gives you more or less idea of what I want to do. Okay, now where's that tool over here? So this is the last one. Uh, let's see. Goes down, goes that direction, comes back. So this, come on, needs to be now connected to the shotgun. So now the shotgun's live, and that's the range. It's actually quite a big range. You only need three on each side then. Okay, and then also need to load the ammo. So I want to make four turrets, so all of them are just so that I have to share ammo like this. And lock ammo, target strangers, target zombies. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to put the other three around the sides. I'm going to upgrade this, put the ramps over, and then upgrade the floor over here. And then also add a few more of these small insignificant traps to the thing. So yeah, the next episode you guys will see me will be during the horde and then we'll test out this base. And I'm back guys, I uh, went ahead a bit since the timer rang and just finished up everything so I can more or less show you how it's going to look. So I placed the four turrets on each side um, and also locked them, uh, locked them into view. Also with this one over here, I needed to be creative a bit. So I broke out a piece of the wall and then just... Uh, put that ra those ramps inside so the zombies walk over. Hopefully they don't wail on it. <laughs> also, it turns out we didn't have enough steel because, as you can see, this side, that side, and that side over there doesn't have steel on the second layer. I decided to put steel on this layer though, since the house is in the way over here. So what I'm going to do now is, in between these fences, uh, these posts, I'm going to put the small spikes, and then in between the two, just one layer, I'm going to put the barbed wire. The reason I don't want to do everything is, like I said, I want to do the blade traps as well later on, if we have chance for that. So yeah, at the moment we have four generators, so Ward Knight, you just need to switch on each of the four, and then it powers everything. The spotlights and the first fence is going to be running the full time, and then the only sections will come on uh, from the second traps and third traps, uh, as the zombies step on the pressure plates. So, as they step on that plate over there, this whole fence over here lights up. And it actually works, guys. I tried it on myself. So, if you guys liked this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. If you have any comments or feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.